In today's episode of Willful, we spoke with Jerry Legere, a Toronto-based singer-songwriter with a rootsy folk rock sound and a collaboration record that includes Serena Ryder, Ron Sexsmith, and the Cowboy Junkies. Thank you for joining us today at the Merchant Tavern. Yeah, thanks for having me. Toronto has developed a reputation in the last decade as a singer-songwriter mecca. What conditions have brought about this beehive of creativity? Uh, well, I mean, yeah, like I'm involved in it, but uh, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it's a big city. Uh, I think since the, the 60s, there's been, uh, there's a lot of, uh, songwriters in the 60s too, Toronto based, or just like now, like coming from different parts of Canada uh, uh, and, and trying to break through and breaking through in Toronto because it's, it's just, it's, a, it's been a big city in Canada for, you know, such a long time that, uh, but as far as recently, I've heard that, I've heard people say that. Um, sometimes it's hard, like when you're, when you're in it, yeah. I guess like it, it's hard to um, see that happening. Uh, I do see a, a, as a very uh, there's a very uh, a strong uh, music scene here, uh, and that's great, and that's different than than other places that you go. But uh, as far as internationally being recognized that way, I. Uh, I guess there's been another uh, wave of, of songwriters from here that are, are breaking through at least enough where mm. people outside the country are noticing. But certainly the 60s had, had that to an extent as well. Yeah, the whole yeah. Yorkville scene. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of those songwriters we still know today and still talk about. Um, others are a little more obscure, but I certainly know of them. But. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I just heard Gordon Lightfoot on uh, Alec Baldwin's podcast, Here's the Thing, oh, and he was talking wow. the whole time about the Yorkville scene and Dylan and Joni Mitchell, and it still resonates with a lot of people that are yeah. the heritage, the musical heritage that Toronto has. Yeah, it's amazing that Yorkville is very different now. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you were 19 years old when you released your first album, and I'm wondering, was music always the goal, or did you have another career? idea in mind? I always wanted to play music. Uh, I grew up in, in a very musical household, uh, not instrument wise, but just music being played, records, radio on all the time. Uh, and then uh, my brothers uh, were fooling around on a, on a guitar and I felt inspired too as well. Yep. And uh Are you the youngest? Yeah. 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 And uh yeah, so it just kind of evolved where I, I was I was starting to write songs and, and and then by high school I was recording a lot of songs on this old eighties four track and uh and then when I was yeah, reaching near the end of high school, and then as as you do when you're at that age, you start wondering, you know, okay, so what's beyond this? So I wasn't a big fan of school. I was wondering what to do, and I wanted to play music. I thought, well, this is what I love to do. I love music. I love writing. I love playing. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe I could do this. Uh, I wasn't sure how my parents were going to feel about that. Uh, so I had, I had a, a thought that I would go to, you know, art college or something because um, I like to, to sketch and stuff like that. So I thought I could expand on that and go to art college and, you know, learn all these other things. I hated the idea of being, you know, I thought maybe I would still be put in some sort of box because there would be like assignments, and there would be things to do and that bothered me because mm -hmm. I like having the freedom. Uh, luckily, though, uh, when high school ended, my, my parents were totally supportive of, of whatever path I wanted to go down. So, Ever since the internet rearranged the music industry, we've seen this rise of singer-songwriters 
who are pretty much doing it all without an agent, without a publicist. They're recording on their own labels or indie labels. They're distributing their music themselves on, on the internet through YouTube and Vimeo. Um, I'm wondering if you're approaching your career in the same way.